Tuesday, August 16th. I am on campus headed to a meeting. Um, I am one of the early career uh, coaching mentors for new faculty, pre-tenured faculty. And we have our organizing meeting uh, today. So I'm headed over to the library for that. I've already been in my office and put my stuff down. I didn't get around as early as I wanted to. So I'll probably do my video after the fact. Um, but I'm all set. I've got my new buttons on my lanyard. Education is power. And I'll go with you and my little witchy button with all my other ones. So I'm all set for a new school year that way. Uh, I'm excited about the school year in the sense of uh, seeing a new crop of faces. And we're going to start organizing for the eclipse in 2024. So that's exciting. And yeah. I am a little apprehensive because the state of the world means that if certain people are found guilty of espionage, I fear that most universities will become targets and most faculty will too. And that's a very big reality that we're going to have to live with. But you know, we cannot cower down to evil because if we do, evil wins and I just I won't do it. So anyway. <laughs> campus is pretty today they've been out mowing it looks like we have a lovely campus with some beautiful old trees on it and um, yeah so this campus is I think we were founded in 1909 and I think that's right I don't remember but anyway we're over 100 years old <laughs> whatever that is so yeah here we are on campus ready for a new school year well our meeting was very successful we're off to a great start for the early career coaching circle um, and I, this is my friend Sandy and I are going to co-facilitate the women's book group uh, this spring or this fall and then in the spring I volunteer to do one um, uh, Gabor Mate is coming out with a new book in September that I'm going to lead a uh, book group on so I think that it's going to be a good year I'm excited to see how things go I'm, I'm always I always feel exhilarated the first of the school year so hopefully we can keep that momentum up um, the active shooter thing doesn't start till after lunch so I'm gonna try to go and record a zoom video of a couple of my labs to kind of give them an orientation of the, a couple of the labs before we get started with the semester and it gets rolling too fast and I'm just doing all I can to keep up <laughs> Anyway, we'll check back in in a little bit. Well, I'm here picking up some more feed to last me through the rest of the week. And um, you ever have very specific memories tied to things like smells and tastes and stuff? Zero bars do that for me. They remind me of my grandpa. Uh, my grandpa always would get me a zero bar or a peanut butter log bar. Those are harder to find, but the co-op station carries zero bars. So every once in a while, I'll get to wanting one. So you've never had one they're pretty good they're car caramel peanut and almond in uh, white fudge so they're pretty delicious they're great frozen too well the raccoons are back and so i'm fixing to move some birds around and i'm just gonna have to put a solid top on that chicken pen that's all there is to it because the little mm -hmm, tear through the wire so i'm going to move all the chickens into the chicken tractor they're probably not going to like that but that's just tough <laughs> well i got them all moved they're not thrilled about it but i'm going to set my trap up in the other pen and they'll enjoy the grass once they settle down These are my first harvest of trombocinos. So I've got them up here to finish curing and drying. Um, although I was noticing something was pecking on them. So <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so I'm excited to try one out. I think I might try one out this weekend for supper.
Well, I've done my chores outside and I moved the chickens and fed and watered. We've got a cold front coming in. That's what you saw with the wind blowing through the trees. We're supposed to get some good rain over the next day and a half, so I'm hopeful for that. Um, I'm starting with some friends, a Dungeons and Dragons campaign tonight online. Boy, things have changed since I was playing back in graduate school. But um, they they play over a platform called D&D &D Beyond now, and they're on like the fifth edition rules. So I'm, I, there's a big learning curve on my part, but my friend that I used to play with in college, he asked me if I would like to. I'm like, sure, it'd be kind of fun. Um, so, these cards have been really valuable for me working on them um and i will tell you why this is not something that i have talked about yet i had been talking with someone potentially you know a potential dating prospect um things were are, were looking pretty good i thought and they said something today sort of belittling my work. Now, I realize that text is a blunt instrument and sometimes it doesn't, sarcasm doesn't translate well, but what was said I don't think was sarcasm. In the past, I would have went like, yeah, ha, 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 and just kind of tried to smooth it over. And I wasn't hateful in my response, but I said, well, actually I love what I do and I think it's pretty valuable. And this meeting may not be your idea of something that you would want to do, but it's important to me because what it does is it makes a better, richer experience for our students, which ultimately I think makes the world better. They haven't said a whole lot after that. So, oh well. I am, and the other thing that I'm, I'm proud of myself about is I don't feel kind of, ew, no, I don't feel that. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. We'll see. I mean, it's one of those things where <sighs> distance was an issue also, and I knew that, but, um, I'm not gonna, I'm not compromising y'all. I'm just not doing it. It's not worth it to me. Um, anyway, so let's do our cards for today. So the first card today is library. Take control of your own narrative. Someone else is trying to call the shots in your life. They think they can waltz in and control your every move and you need to say no to their manipulation. It might seem tempting to relinquish control, but if you give someone else power over your narrative, chaos will ensue and it will all be in their favor, not yours. The stories inside of you make a library on the verge of bursting, but only if you're the one to pick up the pen. Boy, that's a lesson Deborah needed to hear 20 years ago. <laughs> but anyway, take control of your own narrative. I think that's really important. Whether that's from at work, how you present yourself at work, whether that's in a romantic relationship, whether that's in a friendship, whether that's in a relationship with a family member. Um, you know, I know a lot of people don't take control of the narrative, especially when it comes to family, because they don't want to, you know, that's my family and, and so forth. But families can be, a family member can be manipulative and abusive, and it doesn't have to be physical abuse. It can be mental abuse. It can be emotional abuse. That's not okay. And don't, just because, like, we've talked about this before, if they're using you, you need to say something. Now, I realize in some cases you may not be safe, but if it's a case where they're using you and you know it and you grumble about it and you don't say anything, then you're allowing it to happen. And I've been through that. I have, I've been through that myself. And I realize it's hard to say, you know, and, but there are ways to have those conversations to say, look, this is a very one-sided exchange and I would appreciate it if you would do this for me or if you would stop doing this or maybe if we can change this behavior, you know, because I don't think most people do it intentionally. I think a lot of times people just fall into these patterns of complacency. Um, but anyway, so I've done it. 
Power of flowers today is mountain pride. Mountain pride is native to the higher elevations of the Sierra Nevada mountain range. The plant which grows well in dry sunny climates has a woody base with thick roundish toothed leaves. Its rich rose red flowers are tubular in shape. The tubularity of the mountain pride flower denotes a trumpet's call to action, while their deep red colors suggest a profound love of humanity, and the plant's thick base symbolizes the grounding and stabilizing of energy. When taking this essence, one motivation, one's motivations become pure and honest, and one is empowered to speak from the heart, as well as act with conviction and a common, sen common sense in order to achieve his or her destiny. The spiritual warrior, known as the peaceful warrior, walks his talk and follows through with his commitments, takes full responsibility for his own actions, authority, and freedom. He gives the path of the heart, he lives the path of the heart, receiving sacred messages from Mother Earth. Though not literally a warring being, the peaceful warrior is also not passive, for he is spiritually guided into various warrior-like maneuvers when left with no other alternative. Healing. You are a spiritual warrior, male or female. You carry the medicine way within you, for you walk in reverence as you pursue your heart's calling and your destiny. The great mountain and the zenith sun remind you of the goals you wish to accomplish. Elk stands as your companion, noble and strong, lending its medicine of perseverance and endurance to your own efforts. Mother Earth opens her lands for you to walk your noble journey. Uh, the blessing is mountain pride with noble beauty. Teach me to honor my responsibility. To walk my talk and love in part. To follow my journey, a path with heart. Walk your talk. And that's kind of what I've been talking about with, you know, we cannot let, we cannot bow to... You know, they're talking about what if certain people are found guilty and it could cause, you know, a civil war. And it, it could. But if we don't follow the path of justice just to kowtow to the demands of cruel and evil people, they win. We give them power that we can never get back. As scary as it is, we have to follow the path that's right. Anyway... <laughs> on that note that's a little somber at the end here um so we got D, &D tonight at 6 30 um it's about 4 30 right now so i am going to uh, knit i'm getting really close to being done with my changes cowl so i'm going to knit on that tonight in an effort to get it finished but i'm going to work on some my, my sketching out my ideas for my writing here and i will see you guys tomorrow bye <music>